Georgia's top elections officials have certified results showing Joe Biden won the race against President Trump, flipping the long-held red state blue. This comes as President Trump meets Michigan lawmakers as his campaign continues to make unsubstantiated fraud claims. Here's Ray Bogan. President Trump isn't talking about the election, but he's tweeting about it. Hours after Georgia certified Joe Biden's victory in the state, the president wrote, the governor of Georgia and secretary of state refused to let us look at signatures which would expose hundreds of thousands of illegal ballots. Georgia's governor is calling on his secretary of state to address those concerns. It seems simple enough to conduct a sample audit of signatures on the absentee ballot envelopes. The president also met with the two top Republicans in Michigan's legislature. Details about what was said inside are scarce, but they say it was a push for COVID-19 relief. I believe these are Republican legislators who are fans of the president, who admire the president. Following the meeting, the lawmakers stated they're not aware of any information that would change President-elect Joe Biden's victory in the state. Democrats accused the president of trying to throw out legal votes that went for Biden. The president is trying to, I don't know what word to call it, is it cheat his way to victory by pressuring local officials. Meanwhile, in Delaware, President-elect Biden met with the House Speaker and Senate Minority Leader. They discussed coronavirus economic relief, including passing a bill in the lame duck session before Biden takes office. The president-elect's future chief of staff says they'll make more personnel announcements next week. Ray Bogan, Fox News.